Hi, I'm here for 73 questions with a UC Berkeley student. Are you Angelica? Yep, that's me. We're actually at the wrong place, clearly, so let's teleport to campus in three, two, one. Oh, wow. We're here. Yep, this is UC Berkeley. So let's get started. Introduce yourself. My name is Angelica Song. I'm going to be senior in the fall, and I'm studying business administration and also nutritional science. What do you like to do outside of school? Outside of school, I really enjoy Pilates classes, going to the city with my friends, and I also like to create content online, whether that's Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube, you can find me there. Did you say TikTok? Show me your best wall. <laughs> okay, that was really bad. Why did you choose to attend UC Berkeley? Well, I was born and raised in Southern California, so coming to NorCal was a really great change in culture, weather, people, food, so it was a really nice change. The typical Berkeley student? Probably nerdy, passionate, and work hard, play hard. What are the good and bad ways the school surprise you? Good ways, like I said, people here love what they love, whether it's technology, science, business, bad. It can definitely get kind of dangerous at night, especially if you're walking by yourself, so don't walk by yourself. So where are you walking right now? So right now we are entering the Haas School of Business. This is the business school for undergrads and grads, and a lot of my classes are held here. Where else do you like to study on campus? I really enjoy studying at the East Asian Library, the Music Library, Brown's Cafe, lots of cool places. You mentioned libraries. How many are there on the Berkeley campus? I think we have 32, which makes us the first, fourth most in the whole country. Have you been to all of them? Absolutely not. <laughs> How many hours a day do you study as a double major? Well, I feel like as a double major, it depends. Sometimes I have a lot of class, so whether that is four to five hours a day, a lot of studying, a lot of projects. But sometimes I only study one or two hours, so it all depends on the week. Tell me about grade deflation. So grade deflation here is definitely real, more real in those lower div classes. A lot of the classes here are curved to a B minus, so it can be tough to get A's in some of those lower divs, but once you get started and you have your upper divs, it's much easier to do well. It's really nice out today. What's the typical weather like at UC Berkeley? I would say like 60s to 70s, cool weather. Um, if you're from Southern California, you are going to think it's very cold and rainy, but anywhere else in the world, this is going to be a dream. Tell me the big public school pros and cons. So public school pro, it's kind of nice to feel invisible sometimes in that way of you can do your own thing and you know, you're just being independent. Cons, I would say there's definitely limited resources, obviously because there are more people. So you really have to fight for those things. Are there any superstitions or traditions here? So if you step on one of our seals, which is not here, but you will not get a 4.0 at your Berkeley experience. So that is long gone for me. So I have no problem stepping on it. Traditions on 420, we smoke um, a certain substance on a field at 420 exactly. And the whole crowd turns into a huge puff. Berkeley is known to have a lot of great academic achievements. What's one that you are most proud of? I think what's really cool is that we have multiple elements on the periodic table of elements, including berkelium. So there's a lot of cool things in science and chem that we're really known for that is super, super cool. What was your hardest class and easiest class you've taken? My hardest class was definitely the second half on organic chemistry. That was really rough. The easiest class is probably my plant biology class. It was so much fun and the work was really minimal and it was just really easy to understand. How is the campus diversity? I would say like any school, we can always do more work and predominantly it is Caucasian and Asian. And I hope that we can do more things to you know, represent minorities, Latinx communities and African-American communities. What's your favorite part about the school? My favorite part about the school is that we are kind of in this limbo suburban slash urban uh, atmosphere. So we have the city feel because we have downtown, but also Berkeley is a really cool residential area. Best place for the best view on campus. So the best place for a really good view is either on top of the Campanile. So you can see the whole Bay Area, the whole campus, or actually the sixth floor roof of a business building right here called Chu Hall. What is the party scene at Berkeley like? 
So it's organized into three categories, I would say Greek life, clubs, and also just like personal parties. Your favorite way to have a good time in Berkeley? I really like going out to the city, trying out new bars and breweries, but sometimes a, just a night in with my friends, watching movies, playing board games, that's also really fun as well. How popular is Greek life? I would say Greek life is maybe like 20 to 30 percent of the population. So even if you're not in Greek life, you can definitely get involved and still have a good time with them. What do people wear to parties? I would say this is another universal statement for all colleges, but probably like crop dots, jackets, and jeans or leggings. What's the food culture like? Bay Area has some really good foods and it has a lot of really great ethnic foods. So Thai food is really good in Berkeley, Japanese food is really good in Berkeley, and also some good Italian food as well. Favorite local restaurants? My favorite local restaurant, hmm, I really like Im Thai. They have the best Thai food ever. Their patio, amazing. Zachary's Pizza, really great deep dish pizza. Marfuku Ramen, a lot of really cool places. You said Bay Area is expensive. Food is expensive too? Yeah, so definitely Bay Area has a price. I would say for food, you're gonna spend anywhere between um, hmm, like 10 to $20 per meal, which I know is expensive, but it is really delicious. What days do people go out? I would say Thursdays are really popular. People like to go to Triple Rock, but Fridays and Saturdays, obviously. But Sundays, it's when people are like buckling down and catching up on all their missed work. Three Berkeley students stereotypes. Uh, nerdy, <laughs> maybe ugly, and cutthroat. Describe your Berkeley experience with the song words. I think, hmm, song. Maybe The Middle by Zed, just because that song was always popular, or a Kendrick Lamar song that, yeah, those songs are always popular at parties. Does Berkeley have st school spirit? We definitely do in certain seasons, whether it's football season or beating other schools and other things. So the Go Bear spirit is really, really big, but sometimes it's kind of in a meme um, like satirical way of like, Go Bears, when things don't happen the way we want it to. What's your favorite Berkeley event? My favorite Berkeley event is definitely Cal Day. Cal Day is in the spring and it's when the frat houses open up and the restaurants have really cool parties and little bar things going on and it's just a fun day to be a golden pair. What sports are most popular to follow? I mean, I wish all sports got equal attention because I have some really great friends on all those teams, but I would have to say football is probably the most popular and we did just beat Stanford in the big game in the fall, so go Bears. Who is your favorite alumni? There's a lot of really cool ones. There's people like, I don't know if they all graduated, but like Aaron Rodgers, Chris Pine, Brenda Song, even Troy Bolton from the High School Musical, the fictional character, went to Berkeley. What's the greatest perk of being a Golden Bear? I think the greatest perk is that we are so close to Silicon Valley, tech culture, entrepreneurship, uh, startup culture, being creative. So that's really nice. College online memes are big. Tell me about your Facebook meme page. So we definitely have a lot of pride and um, confidence and just so much spirit about our meme page. Our meme page on Facebook is the largest university meme page. So definitely check it out for some great self-deprecating um, dry humor. What's something about UC Berkeley most people don't know? I think most people don't know how nice the weather here can be. I'm, I, like I said, I'm from SoCal, so I don't appreciate it as much, but really great mild weather. It does rain a lot, but really beautiful skies usually. Describe Berkeley as an alcoholic beverage. I would say Berkeley as an alcoholic drink would be a Long Island iced tea because at first it is not a big deal. It tastes fine, but the more you have it, it's like going to knock you out. So Berkeley may seem like it's going to be okay, but then it does have its moments where you just knock out. <laughs> How often do you go into a city like uh, San Francisco? I would say I go into the city maybe like once or twice a month. I would definitely like to go more. What do you do there? I like to go out and eat with my friends or go to new sightseeing places, new dessert places, and there's a lot of really cool things you can do. Where do people like to go for their weekend trips? For weekend trips, I think people like to go to Lake Tahoe 
or the city or even local uh, NorCal cities. By the way, that is our Campanelli, which is our bell tower ringing right now. Your favorite trips with friends? Going to Lake Tahoe, I'm a big ski, snowboard, snow enthusiast, so that's always really fun. Name the top three majors at Berkeley. Probably either econ, computer science, and some kind of bio, chem, STEM field. What industries are most popular enter after undergrad? Probably finance, uh, hmm, grad school, uh, and tech, tech, so like software engineering. So what do you like to do? I like to go into technology, maybe work in the intersection of biotech and healthcare and tech. So that's kind of my main interest. Is that normal for a business student? I would say it's not normal, but not not normal. Um, I know I definitely have an atypical pathway when it comes to business students because I have such a great interest in healthcare and tech and biotech. So I'm just really creating my own experience for myself. Some internship jobs or jobs tips Berkeley has taught you. So I think I learned that rejection and um, the application process for jobs, it's all part of the experience and getting rejected is nothing personal, nor is it a lack of your abilities or anything like that. How helpful has the school been for recruiting a job? So it's been really nice because Berkeley is a target school for the West Coast. Um, so a lot of finance jobs, tech jobs, they do recruit from our school directly. So that's been really helpful. What do you spend the most money at Berkeley? So I would say that I spend the most money at Berkeley um, food for sure, just because it is expensive and transportation. So I Uber and Lyft a lot. <laughs> what some things you did in high school that you're able to do here? So I was really involved in journalism in high school and I am currently still part of the Daily Californian, which is our campus newspaper as a marketing manager. You have to apply to a business school in a competitive process. Any best tips? I would say that definitely be yourself. Don't listen to what people are telling you how to apply. If you just create your own story and be unique and honest, I think you are good to go. What is your greatest achievement here? My greatest achievement here is that I really learned to um, find out what matters to me, what I care about, and meet really great people. Talk about your biggest hardship. My biggest hardship was definitely my freshman year when I started to listen to too many people and telling me what to do, how to get into Haas, how to do this, how to succeed. And that just left me really unhappy. So I always tell people, do your own thing, don't listen to anybody, and you're going to be fine. Finish this sentence. Without Berkeley, I would have never... Without Berkeley, I would have never learned my passion for healthcare and biotechnology. What are your thoughts about your college experience? I have such a great um, reflective, I mean, I still have one more year left about my college experience. I love everything that I've been through and all my friends and my experience, so very, very positive. What else are you involved in on campus? Some other business organizations. I also have a campus job doing social media. And yeah, I think that's it. Why do you think you got into UC Berkeley? I think this question is kind of stupid because there are so many things that go into college applications. And I'm not going to stand here and pretend I know what I did got in because there's so many people who work hard, are passionate, all those things that people always say why they think they got into school. But at the end of the day, I don't know. There's things like luck, privilege, socioeconomic class, and you know, I'm, yeah, just try hard and, you know, hopefully the cards are in your favor. Did Berkeley meet your expectation of a college experience? Why or why not? I feel like it definitely did just because I was really able to create my own story here, my journey, um, and really have that freedom to do that. So that's what I always imagined college to be. What type of person would succeed at UC Berkeley? At Berkeley, I feel like the person who knows how to work hard, stay, stay self-sustainable, and driven would be really great here. The school for everyone? Definitely not. Um, I know the culture can be really tough for some people, but if you have a thick heart, strong head, um, I think you can do really well. How do people make friends at Berkeley? Clubs, organizations, and putting in the effort. Favorite things to do off campus? Off campus, I love visiting the city, like I said, also working out and going to explore some of our really great nature hikes. If 
you do it again, would you still choose to tan UC Berkeley? Absolutely. I learned so much here. And again, hashtag no regrets. <laughs> What's the fitness or workout culture here? People definitely like to work out. Our gyms are always packed. We have two. Uh, but people also like to get in a good hike or a jog. So definitely pretty big. <laughs> How do people get around? Predominantly public transportation, whether it's walking, Ubers, lifts. Some people bring up their cars, but it's the Bay Area, so not too many. What does UC Berkeley mean to you? UC Berkeley means to me uh, just a place of opportunity, a place where I really learned to find myself, and a place where I just learned to work hard and uh, be thankful. If you ever have kids, would you want them to come here? Um, if they get in and if they want to come here and they know what they're up for, absolutely. Your favorite UC Berkeley memory? My favorite Berkeley memory uh, is just the small weekend trips I go with my friends. That's a really great way for us to get out of the campus area and get to know one another. The best piece of advice given here? One well, of my professors said, whether it's a test or a quiz, everything is so temporary and literally in a few months, it's not going to be that important. So don't stress the small stuff. When you graduate, what are you going to miss most about the college? I'm going to miss most that I get to be close to all my friends, the city, the opportunities, and in my own little Berkeley bubble-ish here. <laughs> Before we go, can you show me your best bears? Three, two, one, go bears. <laughs>